He's a three-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Pro Bowler. As we know from his last visit here, it's been too long. Best-selling author, Rob Gronkowski. How are you, Gronk? What's up, guys? How you doing? How's that for an intro? Is that a Gronk size? Did I spike that that one? That introduction was right on. I mean, hyping up the game, the monster basketball game that... I do, too. I'm, I'm getting it in, and uh, I just love that introduction, man. That was nice work. So how, what's your game like? Tell me the Gronk Hoops game. Oh, about the uh, Hoops game. I mean, we, we got the Stella Rosa Wines team Gronk against, you know, Floyd Money, Mayweather's team. Uh, mm-hmm. We got many other players coming out. We got T.O., Donovan McNabb's going to be out there with myself. We got Ty Dollar signing the halftime show. I mean, it's not just a basketball game that we're raising money for charity for it. I mean, it's going to be entertainment. I mean, you know it's not going to be all seriousness. I mean, we're, we're trying to win the game because we'll get 25 k to uh, our charity of choice. So we're trying to win, obviously, but it's going to be competition. But at the same time, it's going to be entertainment. It's going to be going down. And there's going to be so many other uh, artists there, uh, ex, ex-players, uh, NBA players, whoever. You name it, they're going to be there. And it's going to be a blast. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma's going to be there. He's uh, he's uh, coaching your team with with McNabb, uh, and and um, and it'll be fun yes, in that regard. Is. But in terms of uh, the game, I meant your game, your hoops game, the Rob Gronkowski hoops game. Are you? Are, do you have an outside shot, or or, or we're just assuming that you're going to play down low, Rob? Uh, do you have that Durant three point shot running the point? What do you have for me? You know, man, I you know. When I was in high school, I was a center, and I was more of like that just the big man type of guy, be down in the hole, you know, get the rebounds. And just because I was bigger than everyone else, it would work. But, I mean, we got some talent out there, so I got to pick up my game a little bit. I got to work on my game. I got I to gotta get that shot going. Uh, I got to get that shot, that three-point shot money right on the spot because I got to get some couple swishes out there, you know. <laughs> I can't show up and not have a swish. No, of course. You, know? you got to hit nothing but net at one point. The game's Monday, though, yeah, Rob. Nothing but net. I didn't even know. I thought I was the coach of the team, but now I figured I found out I'm the captain of the team. So now that means I got to be playing. So that means I got to get ready. I got to get get going. I got like six more days to get rolling. It's next Monday night. So That's right. It's going to be fun, though. I mean, we're, we're, we're all doing it for fun and, and, and everything, too, and, and it's for a good cause. But at the same time, man, we can use it, get a good workout in, get some competition going too, and it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a blast. Are the coaches of your team going to be required to wear a hoodie? Do they must must they wear a hoodie, Rob? Since that's what you're oh, used to. Must they wear a hoodie? No, I mean they, they can wear whatever they want, but if they wear a hoodie, I mean they're they're, they're going all out with their coaching for sure. Then. Okay, so yeah, and there's just one thing. There's just only one game, so they can't move. You can't move on to you're say right. Cincinnati, it's, it's right? One game, so this we got to bring it. Okay. Rob Gronkowski here on the Rich Eisen Show. What are you up to? What is what do you what what is life like uh, with no OTAs or football or, or off season workout regimen or any? What, what is it like for you, Rob? Yeah, man, life's good. I, I scaled back big time. I mean, just put a good solid you know fourteen years in a row of just in cool in college, high school, just football, football, the grind, the pounding, and so man, I'm just taking some time off, just relaxing. Uh, you know, I got the SBs next week. Um, I, I'm going out there for that. Um, it'll be a good time. But also, just been relaxing, traveling, seeing the family, um, and just enjoying myself, man. I never had a – you want to know something? I never had an August off in my life. So, it's going to be a little different. That's when it's going to start really seeing the change is when that comes around in August when I'm not in training camp. I'm, You know, I might not know what to do with myself with August. But uh, it feels good just on a resume. Uh, just, just living a healthy lifestyle, and, and it feels good, man. So, yeah, how much? When you say scale back, I mean, we just showed a split screen. Uh, it, it looks like you've dropped some lbs. How much have you lost? Oh yes, I'm um, actually down to 250 right now. And uh, my dude, my whole career, yeah, that that picture I know everyone's sending to me. They're like, yo, you look like you're like 200 pounds, which I don't know. It must have been the angle or the shirt because. Uh, that was on me because I, I ain't that that skinny. That's the picture that's going around that looks like. But I, 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 I have definitely lost some weight. And I've been 260 since I was 18 years old, from 260 to like 270. So uh, I just always wanted to see what it feels like, uh, you know, just to get down, just to feel light, feel loose, and uh, just feel clear and feel good, man. Well, in the years that I've done with the NFL Network now, you know, 16, Gronk, uh, when players retire – um, it's difficult to unplug. 
because they just miss the game or they just start thinking about it, you know, as training camp comes around, they're used to it or they want to do it. And that said, though, uh, I don't know anybody else who retired at age 29 after what everyone considers is a surefire first ballot Hall of Fame career. Do you not miss it at all? Oh, man, there's definitely going to be times when you miss it and everything. But I would also say that it's still the off season right now. I mean, I can't really say what how I'm going to feel about it, you know, and uh, when, when the games start rolling around and everything. But, you know, I just felt like it was time, and uh, I feel really good right now. And uh, it, it's just definitely just something that, you know, I just thought it was the right timing and, and, and right right thing to do. So, um, you know, and – the weight wise and everything just feels good just to have that load off your back. I mean, I've been playing football for 15 years straight in a row of that grind. So just relaxing right now feels good, man. Okay. And then uh, when the games roll around, you know, and uh, Patriots raise a banner Sunday night football with the Steelers in, in town, would you, are you going to be there? Do you plan on actually being there? Banner goes up, crazy trains playing, Tom screaming LFG, all that stuff. You're going to be there, Rob? <laughs> That actually sounds that sounds pretty nice, but uh, I mean, if if I'm going to be there, it'll be me uh, there to to celebrate the Super Bowl last year and putting up the banner uh, uh, and just being there with the team. But I mean, there's been no discussion of w- w- what they're doing, um, you know, for the first game or anything like that. So there That's hasn't been yet. anything like that. So we'll see when that time comes around. All right, and then uh, do you mind? Like, are you are you thinking of acting? Is that something that you're you're thinking uh, of doing, Gronk? What's you up? know, you know, I've done a couple of things in my in, in my life, like you know, I've tried a movie, a couple other things, and uh, some TV shows and all. But you know, uh, just just how I'm just relaxing and just enjoying my time is, I'm actually scaling back right now from everything. I'm okay. just I'm just gonna relax. I just went ten years on the field, off the field, of of just straight go go go. So I'm 30 years old now. I feel like just relaxing, gaining, gaining control of my life, okay. gaining control of, of everything that needs to be controlled again of in my aspect and just feel good again. So whatever comes my way down the future and whatever is right is going to be right. But right now, just, just relaxing, chilling, it feels good, man. No lie, it feels I, good. I love it. That's so great. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would love to, to role play with you, just real briefly, Gronk, okay, where – I play the role of somebody that I'm kind of familiar with, and you play the role of somebody that you're familiar with, if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to play a a guy who went to Michigan, um, okay, who's a leader in his field. Uh, His name is Tom. And you play the role of a tight end with a Hall of Fame resume, okay? And the time is going to be, hmm, let's go, hmm, November 1st, 2019 in the future not too distant future are, are would you mind if we quickly role play this out no uh, we got what we got one scene okay here we go one scene here we go ready uh chris say action when you got it okay ready? all right guys ready all right guys ready yes action hey rob it's tom how you been hey tom good man i've been doing great man you're you're still killing it you're like 42 years old now i mean yeah i know you miss me tom i know you do i do i do gronk i do man we it's not just me it's it's everybody we all miss you and you know things are going great you know bill's a pain in the ass but it's really you know it's really it's really something that could be better with you would you would you think of coming back and playing with me rob oh tom i mean you know I miss you too. I miss the guys, but I'm just chilling, man. I'm I'm down in the Bahamas right now, just relaxing. I got I'm sipping my water and I got I got your electrolytes in it, Tom. So <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, baby. I got the electrolytes in the water and I'm sipping on a protein margarita, Tom. So I'm just chilling. Thank you. I love you. I miss you. But there's but I'm just relaxing, homie. There's no chance, Rob. This is Tom. This is Tom. You know, call me when you get to the playoff. <laughs> <laughs> and see <scene>. cut. <laughs> Rob Rob, you're a natural, man. You are a oh. natural. You're a natural. That at was this. great. That, that was so funny. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. It sounded uh, that was lifelike to me. I thought that was yeah, pretty yeah, lifelike to me. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was good. Okay. <laughs> um, did you, or were you aware right away that you broke the, uh, the, uh, or dented the Lombardi trophy, uh, with, with, oh, the, man. at no, the we opening day? No, we were just day? messing around. And Julian was, you know, pretending to be the ace pitcher that he is. So then I was, I just, I have no clue. I just hopped off to pretend I was at back because we were waiting there for a little bit. So we started goofing off. And then I actually, I actually bunted it. I was, I was like, I can't do a swing, but I was like, I'll do a bunt. And I didn't, I didn't think it was going to do anything to the trophy. I didn't even think about it. And then I handed the trophy off to a teammate, and he's like, yo, yo, you dented the trophy. And I was I was like, no way. And because it was, like, underneath it. So then we finally saw it, and we lost it. I, was, I, was, I wasn't really in a panic, though. I mean, our PR, our PR guy was like, Rob, what are we going to do? I was like, I don't know. I was like, we're going to go hold it up. In front of the fans now. <laughs> <laughs> Who told Kraft? Did anybody? Was that you? Did somebody? Somebody had to tell Bob that the that, uh, that the trophy know, got dented. But, you know, it, it all went smooth though. I think no one got in trouble. It's actually it's actually something that's pretty cool now because everyone hits me up like, "Yo, I want to go. I'm going to go see the uh, trophy in the Patriots Hall of Fame," <laughs> and everyone goes and sees it, and they send me pictures of them hanging with the trophy with the dent in it. <laughs> and so it's kind of like a thing now in that, but I, I, I already knew what to say. Like if I was going to get in trouble, like Julian threw the pitch. If he just didn't throw the pitch, it would have never happened. Yeah. You're the one who laid down the bunt. <laughs> Good thing yeah, you didn't. He, what would have happened you if know, you. Was... He, he was talking garbage. Like he's throwing the best, best pitches, best knuckleball. He threw a knuckleball too. So I just wanted to prove to him I could hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, he, he, yeah. I mean, what if what would have happened if you'd gone full swing, Rob? If you had taken the no, first one? No, no, I wouldn't have done that. That would have been, that would have pushed it too far. My gosh, I don't know what's going on yeah. in Boston. The you know again the the World Series trophy got uh, broken. This one gets dented, but hey, at least you have the trophies to break. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. We got the trophies. So when are you are you out in L.A. already, or are you coming out this weekend? No, no, next week. Okay, well, you know, yep. maybe I'll run into you. I know, I know, I'm not. You know, I don't have that basketball game enough to be invited. Yeah, but you know, the monster basketball game. You guys coming? Uh, are we invited? Oh. We'll come. Yeah, you guys are invited. All you guys, right. You can get tickets online, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, Rob, we've acted in a scene together now. Come on. Yeah, we did. All right. You know. Set up a booth. Maybe you can, like, announce play by play. Uh, hey, um, I'm in. You just let me know. Uh, here I'll... comes Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg coming down the court. He passes half court. Oh, dishes it off to Robbie G. Robbie G <laughs> shoots up a three swish. That's it. I like it. And then, uh, and then. Snoop uh, acts like he's sipping tea to celebrate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 50kcharitychallenge.com to get tickets. 7 p.m. Pacific oh, tip God. at UCLA Pauley Pavilion on Monday. Gronk, you're the best. Let's chat again All soon. All right, guys. Take care. Okay, bud. Thanks again. That's, uh, that's Rob Gronkowski. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.